So when you think about summer neighborhood sports, you don't often think of the kind with its roots in 1800s England. But it's exactly what one program is using to change lives for young people on Chicago's South Side. WGN's Marcus LaShock gives you a look. Its roots go back to 1830s England. Squash. It's a game that's only played by old British guys wearing fashionably high-waisted pants, right? I think that's a perception of the game that's changing as well. David Kay is the executive director of Metro Squash. It turns out there's a growing number of young people taking to this game, some right here on Chicago's south side. Key things about it are it's fast-paced, it's a lifelong game, it's open to boys and girls equally, uh, and it's got a great access to education. All the top, top colleges, a lot of schools have squash, so it's a great uh, avenue for students to be able to uh, access those types of opportunities. As for the game itself, it looks similar to racket Ball, but there are some pretty big differences, starting with the ball. It's black all around and it has two yellow dots. Um, so this ball is like, you probably think like when you drop it, it's like nothing. Yeah, it doesn't but bounce like, like a racquetball exactly. bounces. Right, but like once it gets like heated up, it can go like 180, it's like yeah. per hour. <laughs> KJ Muhammad and Gregory Johnson are regulars here at Metro Squash. The program has two purposes. The first is to teach area youth how to play this game. The other... Academic support, foundational skills for our middle schoolers, math, reading comprehension, development, uh, homework support. Really, we're getting them ready for each next stage in the pathway. Middle schoolers ready for high school, high schoolers ready for college, college students ready for careers. We follow them the whole way through. In the 10 years they've been around, the Metro Squash Academic Tutoring Program has helped 75 students get into their best match high school. Last year, the program helped students access more than $916,000 in scholarships for college. Pretty breathtaking to see them come back and they're, they're wanting to volunteer. They're coming back now from college. college. The semester's just ended and the kids are excited to get on court and to mentor other kids. So it's pretty amazing. Back in April, they opened this 21,000 square foot facility. It's the first standalone urban squash center. They're hoping this building will attract even more young people to a game that's played in over 180 countries. What is it about the game where you're like, man, I want to keep playing this, this is great. Watching them just play against each other, hitting the ball real hard, and just going at it, I'm just like, I'm going to get that good in about a year. Oh, and did I mention that you can burn more than 500 calories playing for just 30 minutes? So, why? Oh, you're tired. <laughs> you're tired. <laughs> So I take it Marcus lost. <laughs> Three students who've been through the program are here to talk a little more about it. I want to welcome Joseph Harris, Karima Bates, and Robert Garner. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, you pretty much were introduced at middle school age, right? Yeah. High what? school for me. Oh, high school for you. Okay, <laughs> well, what about squash attracted you? I mean, why squash? I mean, a lot of people are into basketball, football, baseball. Why squash? Well, for me personally, I was never good at any of those sports. And... Um, <laughs> My mom played tennis in high school, and so she always would tell me about the matches that she had, and it was something new, it was something different. So I said, why not? I had nothing to lose, and seven years later, I've been in many tournaments, and I've loved it, so. Great, and Karima, you knew her from, from young. You knew she was doing it. Karima, you've been to different tournaments. That's kind of cool to go yeah. other places. I've been a lot of places, New York, Massachusetts, Cincinnati. Um, I know some of my friends in the program has been like out of the United States to mm -hmm. El Salvador. Yeah. So it's really fun, really fun way to you know meet new people and right. from all over and other national. Um, Just urban different teams. cultures and things like that. I mean, it's the cultural diversity, Robert, that really attracts me to the whole thing. It really is. Like um, a lot of young African Americans. Asians, other like like minorities, all are in Metro Squash with us, and I think it's just I think it's just interesting that we're trying out for a new sport. No one's ever heard of it, like you said. With, like people thought it was just from Britain. Yeah, right. But um, everyone's getting accustomed to it. Like my mom, she's like, "What is squash?" <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are kind of like pioneers to a certain extent. But squash is so much more than squash. I mean, we were listening in the story just a little while ago that you guys were able to, you know, you have to learn, you have to keep up with your studies. They they match you up with high schools and things like that. So it goes way beyond that, wouldn't you mm -hmm. say? 
Yeah, they follow us from grade school through high school through college. We're all college students, and they still follow up with us, make sure that we have everything we need as far as books and. Really? Um, mm -hmm. Do you find it's a pressure though that you got to keep your grades up? Do you find it a lot of pressure or no? I think that it's helpful. I think it's helpful to know that that there's a group of people who are supporting you and who want you to succeed. So it's been really nice for me to have, you know, there's certain tutors that, spec that work specifically in like math or science. Mm -hmm. So it's nice. It is pressure, but I think we need a little pressure. And it, exactly. pushes, it, has, it pushes you to do that well. That little extra push. push. Yeah. 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 P's and Q's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You need somebody looking over you knowing that there's somebody there for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Does it, do you think now, do you, what about friendships? I'm sure you've made a lot of friendships. Yeah, we've made a lot of friendships. Um, like friends they've been around lifetime. since yeah. fifth grade. Yeah. I've been since high school. These are some of my best friends here. Yeah. So it's like hopefully we'll grow old together. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Well, let me ask you that. A lot of kids at home may say, oh, I'd love to do that. But what about money? How, how much does it cost to be involved in something like this? It's absolutely it's free. free. No. Yep. Free. Seriously? Mm -hmm. free. How's that? How does it become free? Just from grants and scholarships yeah, and things like that? It's a people? nonprofit organization, so they get a lot of um, people who donate to us. Um, our biggest founder is Phil Glass, so, yeah. um, and then we're sponsored by Harrow mm -hmm. and places like that. So you come and you just do your homework and you, you're introduced by the game of squash and mm -hmm. you come and have fun. So all, all you have to do is get good grades. Be, you know, probably polite and mind your yeah, P's and Q's, as you said, good attitude. <laughs> That's all it takes. That's easy peasy. Well, good for you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, go get them, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. This is fabulous. Metro Squash is located at 61st and Cottage Grove. And just go to metrosquash.org for more information. You folks at home want your kids to get involved? Go right now to metrosquash.org.